There is a proverb about Hangzhou, China. I traveled a thousand miles to Hangzhou. Half of the reason was to see West Lake. The other half was to see the silk. Hangzhou is the hometown of silk. The silk market here is the first of its kind in China, and its products are exported all over the world. On this street, there hide many distinguished people. We found expert seamstress Zhang Ming in a humble shop. It's a pajama shop. Okay,可以。我的妈妈也以前的时候也做这个。我小孩子的时候我的妈妈做过全部的衣服。哦,那这个中国的服装跟这个西式服装它有很大的区别。我们有绫罗绸缎,这种四大家族来做这个面料。西式的服装一般都是用花纤的毛料之类的有区别还有在工艺上面也有很大的区别的做法我做这个衣服呢感受最深的就是心要静下来要喜欢去研究它去传承它去不断的探索不断的设计跟着时尚走的一种新的款式
so as to ensure that the pattern information is correctly input into the jacquard plate. This is the in reference to the picture, where is this on the... Is it this way or is it this way? So this, from the side to the side, there are a few, right? Yes, 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 there are a few thousand. The process of pattern plate rolling is almost the same as the process of running a computer program. Color information is encoded in the jacquard pattern plates. A program often requires thousands or tens of thousands of pattern plates. And no mistake can be made. Master Xiao has engaged in the production of pattern plates for 45 years. In the past 45 years, he has continued to learn and perfect the process. Now 什么颜色？什么纹线进去？你把这个纹线穿过去，再踩一下。The plates are fed through the loom and control the complex heddle structure, which controls the thread colors and pattern of the shuttles as they feed through the different sheds of the wift. So some people say that this is the world's first computer because each one of these is an instruction. Right, right, right. And it's like the, the software. Yeah, software. <laughs> So you have these threads here. The warp. These are, yeah, this is called the warp in English. It's called Jingxian in Chinese. Jingxian. Yeah. And Jingdu is longitude. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because this is supposed to be, you're supposed to think of this kind of like vertical, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. And, and so this is called the weft. <coughs> Yeah. In English, it's called the Wei Xian. Wei Xian. Wei Xian in uh, Chinese. And it's interesting the Chinese characters. For the Jing, it's actually like a picture. The ancient character is a picture of like lines going up and down. And on the bottom, you have something like this a Gong. Really? Yeah. Okay. And the Wei is the ancient character is a picture of a foot going to the left and a foot going to the right. And that indicates the shuttle, which goes to the left, right, left, right, yeah. The traditional production methods that remain in this factory to this day show the ingenuity of Chinese people at every step. Thousands of warp threads are pulled up and down by the heddles and dozens of knot threads are arranged in an orderly manner by the pattern memory device. The master lifts and pulls different warp threads, flexing and stretching in order to produce a beautiful pattern. It is as if we have returned to the past. With the continuous progress of the times, silk weaving technology is also constantly evolving. 
we see the scarves customized by AI designers in the front of the factory. So here we have an artificially intelligent uh, scarf selector. All okay, right. Now we get to sign the name. Must be hiding somewhere. Is you gotta look. I think this is it. This is the only. Um, oh. well, I thought it was somewhere here, right? Oh, there it is. Okay. And then you can scan it. AI okay. working, making custom made scarf for. In today's modern factories, new manufacturing methods are constantly being adopted. At the back of the factory, the scarves are produced in about five minutes. Wow, so it's truly a 21st century factory. I mean, everything is automated, completely digital, and there are very few workers around here. Right, this, it's like this place could run by itself. Today,我们做的这个实验是对比这两块面料,染色的残余物对比。这一块是普通的面料,这一块是通过我们无水技术处理过的面料,把它平均分到这两杯里面,然后把这个面料这一块放在这里。This one will create less pollution. 它还能够更轻,它很快就能染干净。And it even gets more purple. Well, this one just, it's lazy. Pathetic. Pathetic. You call yourself a fabric. Or, yeah, How call dare yourself you? a fabric. How dare you, fabric? Oh, that, that's it? Yes, it looks just like water. Can you drink it? Take a wipe with her. Yes, you can drink it. Here, let, let me drink it first. Well, I mean, I'm the experimenter, see? Well, twin shots you. I'm so parched for a long day with Uncle Hansa. Oh, it's so good. Oh, good. <laughs> Go and tell. In addition to improving the production methods, they are also committed to making clothing more environmentally friendly. Clothing is just the surface of a person, but behind the clothes, we see a history, wisdom, and technology of the ancients, and feel the changes over time. Through clothes, we see a wider world. <laughs>